Can you picture a world where it's nearly impossible for middle-class families to own a home? It's a concerning thought, right? Unfortunately, in 2024, this unsettling scenario is the reality for many middle-class households. The cherished dream of having a home, a key part of the middle-class aspiration, is fading away for numerous families. Instead, they're facing the tough truth of rising housing expenses coupled with wages that remain unchanged. The housing crisis we're experiencing didn't happen suddenly. It's been sneaking up on us over the years, like a slow and persistent force gradually making homes less affordable for the average family. We've witnessed it in the soaring property prices, the increasingly difficult to reach mortgage rates, and the growing number of renters dedicating the majority of their income to housing. This isn't your typical economic downturn where things dip and then gradually recover. It's a broader problem, a deeply rooted issue that has been evolving for decades. It's a crisis shaped by a mix of factors from changing economic landscapes and government policies to population growth and urbanization trends. The once stable middle class, traditionally associated with home ownership, now finds itself on the brink of homelessness. This isn't about individuals living beyond their means. It's about hardworking people and families diligently following the rules, but still facing challenges in maintaining a secure place to live. This situation is happening in cities and towns worldwide, from big cities like New York and London to quieter places like Sydney and Vancouver. The story is the same everywhere. The dream of owning a home, once a common goal for the middle class, is becoming harder to achieve. This isn't a fictional story, it's a harsh reality for many middle class families today. Every statistic represents a true story, a real family dealing with the housing crisis. Let's talk about the Johnson family from the Midwest, a diligent couple, both teachers with two eager children. Their aspiration was to create a secure, loving home for their kids. But with soaring housing costs and wages staying the same, they're on the verge of homelessness. The Johnson family's struggle reflects the tough reality of the middle-class housing crisis. Now let's journey to the West Coast, where we meet the Ramirez family. They're a two-generation household, living together, facing the challenge of making ends meet. Despite their pride in being homeowners, the rising cost of living has brought them to a difficult point. The fear of losing their family home, a place filled with cherished memories, looms over them like a heavy shadow. On the bustling East Coast, we encounter the Parkers, a single mother who tirelessly works two jobs yet struggles to afford a safe and comfortable home for her daughter. She finds herself constantly juggling bills, making sacrifices, and living with the constant fear of eviction. Her story vividly illustrates the housing crisis, a crisis that's squeezing the life out of the middle class. These aren't tales of individuals living beyond their means. These are stories of hardworking, responsible individuals simply trying to provide a roof over their loved ones' heads. They find themselves entangled in a system that seems to work against them, pushing them perilously close to the brink of homelessness. Every one of these families, hailing from various regions and backgrounds facing different challenges in life, has a shared difficulty, the battle to maintain a place they can truly call their own. This is the human side of the housing crisis, showcasing the real individuals behind the statistics. These stories aren't unique incidents. They represent the struggles many families endure. This is the truth of the housing crisis. It goes beyond mere numbers. It's about actual people, genuine families, and their quest for a fundamental human right a home to call their own. What unfolds when the foundation of society, the middle class, reaches a point where owning homes becomes unattainable? It might sound like a storyline from a futuristic novel, but it's the reality we're confronting in 2024. As we explore the ongoing housing crisis, it's crucial to grasp the widespread impact it has on society. When the middle class faces challenges in affording homes, it creates a ripple effect throughout the entire economy. The middle class has historically played a significant role in driving consumer spending. However, when they struggle with high housing costs, their capacity to spend in other areas diminishes. This reduction in overall spending can cause a decline in economic activity, affecting businesses and, subsequently, employment rates. Additionally, it's not only the economy that suffers. The social bonds within our communities are also in jeopardy. Owning a home has traditionally represented stability, signaling a sense of belonging in the community. Losing this ownership can make people feel disheartened, as if they no longer have a voice or are being left behind. The middle class, once the cohesive force in communities, may now feel adrift, stuck between the wealthy and the impoverished. Additionally, we shouldn't overlook the impact on the next generation. 
The children of the middle class observe their parents grappling to maintain a place in a housing market that seems increasingly challenging to navigate. What kind of message does this convey to them regarding their future opportunities and the importance of hard work and playing by the rules? The impact of the housing crisis goes beyond individual families facing difficulties in maintaining housing. It's a problem that reaches into various aspects of our society, influencing the economy, community unity, and the aspirations of the upcoming generation. Essentially, the housing crisis sets off a chain reaction, beginning with the middle class struggling to buy homes and potentially causing instability in our society. It's not merely a matter of housing. It affects the core structure of our community. Why is it so hard for middle-class families to achieve the dream of owning a home? This question is vital for grasping the 2024 housing crisis. Let's explore some underlying reasons. Firstly, economic factors play a significant role. Over the past years, there's been a problem with wages not increasing much. Despite the economy getting bigger, the average income for middle-class households hasn't kept up with the growing expenses of daily life. This gap becomes even more noticeable in the housing sector. Home prices have shot up, but wages haven't followed suit, making it tougher for middle-class families to purchase a home. Next, let's look at policy matters. In the last few decades, housing policies have often leaned towards favoring wealthier individuals in their quest for home ownership. Tax benefits, for example, tend to primarily help higher-income households, leaving out the middle class. Additionally, efforts to provide affordable housing frequently miss the mark in meeting the requirements of middle-class families. Moreover, Zoning regulations in various regions limit the building of affordable housing units, resulting in a scarcity of homes that are affordable for those earning a middle income. The current housing crisis is a tangled mix of factors, but it's not an unsolvable problem. The reasons behind this crisis aren't fixed. They result from choices made by individuals, businesses, and governments. Choices that can be rethought and policies that can be improved. Grasping these causes marks the initial step in finding solutions. We need to acknowledge the challenges to pave the way for change. Let's carry on this discussion in our next segment, where we'll explore possible answers to the housing crisis. Is there a way out of this crisis? Absolutely. The housing crisis of 2024 is intricate, yet not insurmountable. Potential solutions are within our reach and they manifest in various forms. First, let's talk about changes in the rules. It's obvious that we need the government to step in if we want to fix the housing problem. Rules that support affordable housing, like making sure there are affordable homes in new neighborhoods and giving tax benefits to builders, can really help deal with the issue. For example, laws about including affordable housing in new developments make developers set aside some homes for people with lower incomes. Now let's talk about new and creative ways of making homes. Because technology is moving really quickly, it's not surprising that it can help us find answers in the housing area too. We can make homes that are cheap, good for the environment, and practical by using modular construction and 3D printing. These technologies make building homes faster and cheaper, so more people in the middle class can afford them. Also, small homes and shared living spaces are becoming more liked, offering budget-friendly and eco-friendly living choices. These new ways of doing things question the usual idea of homes and show that we can live well with less. Finally, initiatives led by communities are also crucial in solving the housing crisis. Local communities, nonprofit groups, and private organizations can collaborate to create affordable housing solutions that match the needs of their community. For example, community land trusts can offer affordable opportunities for homeownership by separating the land cost from the house cost. While these solutions show promise, they are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Achieving success requires everyone to contribute, from the government to private entities, from developers to each individual citizen, we all have a role to play in making these solutions effective. Let's remain optimistic. The housing crisis is indeed a significant challenge, but it's not an unsolvable one. Feasible solutions are available, but they demand collective effort and action. You might be thinking about ways to contribute to fixing the housing crisis. The good news is that there are many practical steps you can take to be a part of the solution. You don't have to be super wealthy or a government official to make an impact. Every little effort matters, no matter how small it might appear. Sure, let's discuss advocacy. It might sound like a fancy term, but it simply means using your voice for important things. Write or call the people who represent your local area and share your worries about the housing problem. Tell them that it's crucial to focus on affordable housing. You can also make a difference by using social media 
A straightforward post or tweet can go a long way in letting more people know about the issue. Moving on to volunteering, various local housing projects and nonprofit organizations constantly require extra help. Whether it involves lending a hand in construction, participating in fundraising events, or merely promoting their cause, your time and effort can have a meaningful impact. If you have the means, think about making a donation. Even a modest contribution can go a considerable distance in supplying resources for those grappling with the housing crisis. Numerous organizations provide transparency reports, enabling you to understand precisely how your donation contributes to their cause. And lastly, consider the influence of education. Take the time to discover more about the housing crisis and its underlying reasons. The better you comprehend the problem, the more prepared you'll be to participate in valuable conversations and support practical solutions. Keep in mind that every action, regardless of size, contributes to the solution. Whether it's endorsing policy adjustments, dedicating your time to volunteering, making a donation, or gaining knowledge and sharing it with others. Your involvement is meaningful. It's about initiating a ripple effect that holds the potential for substantial transformation. While you may be just one person, never underestimate the impact you can have. A single voice can influence many, and a solitary action can inspire others. Taking one step forward can mark the beginning of a journey toward change. You possess the ability to make a difference. Now is the moment to convert our concerns into actions. Together, we've navigated the challenging reality of the 2024 housing crisis. We've witnessed the faces of those affected, understood the chain reaction it triggers, and identified its root causes. We've explored potential solutions and reflected on our roles in this complex issue. The time has come for each of us to step up and contribute, playing our part to bring about a positive impact. The housing crisis is very urgent. It's not only a problem for the middle class who might be close to becoming homeless, it's a problem for all of society. When our neighbors face difficulties, our communities also face challenges. When our communities struggle, our entire nation faces problems. It's like a ripple effect that reaches every part of our society, and we can't just watch without doing anything anymore. Making a change starts with understanding, and you've already started by learning about the crisis. But knowing is just the first step. It's now time to turn that knowledge into action. It could involve offering your time at a nearby housing charity or supporting affordable housing policies in your community. It might mean speaking out to bring attention to the crisis or voting for leaders who prioritize housing stability. You might question, can one person truly have an impact? The answer is a definite yes. Every action, even if it's small, plays a part in a bigger movement. Every voice, even if it's not very loud, joins a larger chorus. Every step, even if it's hesitant, brings us nearer to a solution. So don't undervalue your ability to make a difference. Keep in mind, we're not only advocating for houses, we're advocating for homes. We're advocating for the stability and respect that accompany owning a home. We're advocating for the future of the middle class and, consequently, the future of our nation. Therefore, let's step up to the task. Let's use our combined strength and direct it towards significant action. Let's stand united, side by side, in the midst of this crisis. Together, we can bring back home ownership as a reality for the middle class.